on back at you with another fragrance video. And this is an event. This is going to be an event. So, if you don't have a snack or a drink, a little shown, 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 go ahead, grab that. I'll wait. And let's get into it. I'm giving auntie vibes. Like, I feel like I look like I have some uh, some um, nieces and nephews, but I would like some nieces and nephews. If you're watching this, sis, make it happen. But yeah, I'm giving auntie vibes, but I'm okay with that. Zoo, zoo. Okay, let's get into it. So I have a gift guide for you guys. So for the first cat, the category is, the first category is, People who hate fragrances. Like, if you still want to get them a fragrance because you're a fraghead, but you're like, which fragrance should I get them? Because they have told me repeatedly not to get them a fragrance, but I'm going to do it anyway because I do what I want. Then I have a few options for you to give them. So the first one's going to be from a brand called Zents. This one's called Water. And it smells like, guess, guess. I want you to guess. It smells like a sweet water. Like when you're walking by um, um, those like creeks, like that freshness, the sweet creek water. Uh, almost like a very, very, very watered down sweet pea. But it smells legitimately like fresh water. Um, it's an other toilet. And this is a really cool brand because whenever you get this fragrance, then you get like a little placeholder as well. So if they want to store this somewhere they're not supposed to, like the bathroom. But if they're not a fraghead, they will. Then that's just a little cute addition. It's really nice for a gift. So I like this one. It's Water by Zents. And this has, um, it's refreshing. It's renewing. It has blue chamomile. It says right here. Yes. Oh, coriander, lemon mint, and anise. And it literally just smells like you're walking by a fresh creek. So love that one for people who do not like um, strong fragrances or at least. Or doesn't like uh, perfume. The next one's going to be from Chanel. Chanel, Chanel. This is number five, low. This just smells so nice and regal. Um, again, fresh, but very fresh and clean. It really plays up all the aldehydes and just like a very fresh, chemical, classy, elegant kind of a scent. And I really, really like it. It smells like pure elegance, but it doesn't smell very strong and overbearing. And it doesn't take the musky route that I know a lot of fresh fragrances typically go. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this one. And it's really great for people who don't really like fragrance. The next one is great for like unisex. I would say Chanel leans a little bit more feminine. The Zents is totally unisex, but maybe a little bit more feminine. But this is totally unisex. Um, this one is CK1, which everyone knows this one is from the 90s. Um, but yeah, it just smells like straight up freshness. Very almost had that, like stereotypical sporty cologne kind of a scent. But just fresh and clean. Like literally it smells like Axe um, body wash. That's how it smells. But this is also really good for like the mini your life. If he doesn't have any fragrance at all. This is a nice starter one for him. Um, so yeah. CK1 by Calvin Klein. I'm sure you know that one. It's been around for wow a really long time. Alright the next category that we have. Is going to be mother-in-law. Oh my god. So scary. Very scary. So I have two fragrances that I feel like are mother-in-law worthy. One is for like if she's a little bit younger, a little bit more fun. I would totally go the route of Giorgio Armani. Or actually it's Imperial Armani. This is because it's you. I told you guys this smells so classy and regal and elegant. And I got comments that a lot of you agree. I have a full review on this on my channel. If you really, really want to um, know how it smells. But it smells like a very fun, fruity, kind of an elegant scent very sparkling oh this is such a beautiful fragrance it's super sparkling just a fun elegant dazzling floral kind of a scent but definitely with a sweet berry backdrop so yeah love this fragrance so much i can't believe i think they're getting rid of it um but it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance so this would be totally appropriate for mother-in-law uh, especially if she has a fun bright personality if you want to go the safe route and if she's a little bit more like tight in the booty that sort of thing then i would totally go with this is i actually picked this up this is a sample from royalty sense which is another good option if you could just get them a fragrance description um and royalty sense is a great one but you can also pick up this is creed spring flower i love this fragrance for mature women i think it's a very musky floral kind of a scent um, and it's very, very unique to someone that's very assertive and a little bit more mature. I would never recommend this 
for someone who's a little bit younger, but you have to be mature and you have to be very assertive. And I'm sure Step Mammy is, okay? But yeah, I really love that one. Creed Spring Flower, very musky floral, a scent that typically most mature women gravitate towards. Great longevity, great staying power. Great longevity, great staying power, and it stays very long time. Okay, the next category we have is if you have a young teen girl or teen girls, if you're buying a fragrance for one of your friends, I have some suggestions for you. So the first one, you probably, they probably already have it, but if it's their favorite scent, then it's okay to get a backup. So I have the Ari by Ariana Grande. I want to say this is her first fragrance. I don't know, but this is a beautiful berry. It smells like a berry glazed donut kind of a scent very very beautiful i think it smells super glamorous it's sweet but it's still like glamorous and not super childish perfect for like a 16 year old in college or even like a very young 20s clearly i'm wearing it at my age but i think it's definitely a beautiful scent for a young girl um she already has this one or if you want her to get something else then i also really really like a lot of mark jacobs scents and this is another one so this is daisy dream mark jacobs days and this is just like a almost like a more fruity take on the OG. So it's fruity, it's got some exotic fruit in there, it's got some punch, um, but it's definitely just like your quintessential fun, sweet, fruity, floral, very wearable fragrance that you can wear to multiple different occasions, date nights, um, school, but gets back in session, can wear it to school, that sort of thing. So yeah, love it. Even if they're entering their first job, this is appropriate for that. So this is a great option for my young girls out there, okay? Now the next category is for your wife or for if you have like millennial i would say late 20s to 30s to 40s um that age range i would say these two fragrances they would really really like something different unique and just great for that age range so the first option i have for you is going to be dolce and gabbana again i'm thinking about like a guy getting this for his wife but just anyone in that age range anyone in that age range i would say my millennial women okay this is Dolce & Gabbana. This is Pour Femme. Pick this up from Fragrance Net. Really, really, really like it. It's got that very soft, sweet marshmallow note that is so unique. Um, and if you like By Killian's Princess or Love Don't Be Shy, then you may like this one as well. Um, when you first spray it, it's going to be a little bit more of like a floral burst, but then it dries down to that beautiful, soft marshmallow note. So I think a lot of women really, really enjoy this fragrance. If she has this one, or if you want to go a different route, if you want to go a little bit more of like a sexier route, then I would totally go with one of my new faves, which is the BDK Perfumes Paris. This one's Rouge Smoking. And this one, I say, it smells like a softer, sweeter cherry vanilla scent um that's reminiscent to tom ford lost cherry but for a fraction of the price this is a really heavy bottle actually whoa i'm like whoa anyways this is the um smells like tom ford lost cherry but a little bit softer a little bit creamier and just all in all freaking beautiful i'm obsessed with that scent okay the next category we have is going to be for people who really like masculine scents or for the man in your life all my women watching i think these are nice fragrances for the men in your life the first one's going to come from a brand that's so great about being vegan cruelty free sustainable all those things that you would really really want to hear before you make a purchase so this is going to be from raw spirits um, really, really love this scent. This is winter oak. It's winter oak. It is an eau de parfum and it smells legitimately just like, um, if you're walking through an evergreen forest, like I'm so obsessed. The packaging I think is really beautiful as well. It has like this textured, um, cardboard, kind of a really stiff box. Um, but yeah, that's how it comes. The performance is really, really good. And it reminds me of if you smell Joe Malone's English red oak or like the English oak kind of scents, the English oak and red currant, or I think it's oak and hazelnut, those kind of fragrances, that's exactly what this smells like. And I think a lot of men would really, really like it. Um, all different ages. It's beautiful and has great performance, especially for winter. Um, if you're not into that kind of a scent, then I have another one for the men who don't need such a rugged kind of a scent. If they've been playing with different fragrances or if they have an okay decent collection right now please check out something from van cleef and rpels i really like bois d'iris i think that's how you say it but it's pretty much like woody iris um it's beautiful it kind of has like a a soft powdery 
iris note to it but then it also has that woodiness that i think makes it masculine and i think it'll be really fun for a man that doesn't have to have such a masculine scent to play around with this fragrance it's beautiful and it's really really good for fall winter so really really love that one. that is my list of fragrances you guys should totally pick up for the people that you love in your life um let me know what do you think have you tried any of those what are you picking up for the people in your life and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace